Okay, Future K here. I just wanted to film a little intro to this video to say that this is the apartment tour I filmed uh, like um, um, not even a month ago, a little more than a month ago, a month and a week ago, and I never posted it. I posted it for members, but I never posted it for the general public just because it was weird. There was never like a, I didn't think it was really that well filmed. It was kind of herky jerky with the camera, but I'm going to post it. So enjoy the apartment tour. We don't live here anymore, <laughs> but I hope it gives you some uh, inspiration for organizing, especially if you live in a rental, things you can totally reverse and, you know, get your security deposit back. We got our security deposit back, thank goodness. And um, just ignore my nails in the video, y'all. I mean, it was, a, it was a week. I didn't have time or the, the mental bandwidth to take the nail polish off. If I see you in the comments talking about my nails, I'm not gonna do anything because it's fine. All right, <laughs> enjoy the video. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So today I'm just gonna show you around our apartment. We've been living here for the last six or seven months, I believe. And this is a temporary location for us since uh, I haven't really announced this yet, but we just bought a home. So I haven't finished decorating this apartment yet and I'm not going to because we're going to move out very shortly. So I wanted to show you the apartment before I started tearing it up because we're gonna be moving out of here in seven days. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and uh, just show you basically the organizing systems and how it is decorated. It's not decorated very much at all, but I'll show you some organizing systems. So I've got some good renter friendly solutions for you. So if you're up for that, give this video a big thumbs up and uh, let's look at the apartment real quick. Oh, the only room I won't be showing you in this uh, tour is my husband's office because uh, A, he's actually in there working, but we will show you in the new place. Okay, let's go to the entrance and I'll show you around the place. So here is our entryway and this is what we see when we walk into the apartment, we get the little rug. And this is actually a utility closet. The maintenance people have the key to this closet and actually our closet made closets that which came with the apartment, which are like the building standard are being stored in there. I put up alpha closets for now, and we are gonna put these closet made closets back when we're done living here. So that's where they are right now. But I put this little hook here to hold purses and any, like if you have a wet coat or something like that, you can put it there. So, but this is a command hook, so this can, this will come off just with an adhesive. Actually, I'll show you how it comes off if you've never seen how command hooks come off before. They come off just like that. And then you pull the adhesive tabs down and they won't damage the wall. You have to be really careful though. When you do that, be really patient. If you're not patient, you can just use a hairdryer and melt the glue and it'll come off just like that. There, goes right back on. Another thing you've seen in our past apartments is this little doodad. This is a key holder, but it's a magnetic key holder. And it can also hold mail. Right now I'm using it to hold a coupon from CVS. Oops, it fell down from high there. I need to find, I need to see it. I need to see it. Um, but that is called the Magnetter and it's from Umbra. And then we have some more hooks for the dog leashes and dog harness. I'm like, what is that, a harness? And if you turn this way, there is a really nice sized coat closet. And we live in New England, so we have a lot of weather. <laughs> so we have a lot of coats. We have like rain coats, uh, the in-between, you know, the north face. We have all kinds of coats because again, we have weather and uh, you just need it. So, but we, this is basically our utility closet also. So we just have a lot of our home like tools and stuff up there and house things. And in each one of, in each one of these bins is a place for, you know, our scarves, hats and things like that. And then we have a place for shoes right there for guests and boots, we have wet boots. We put, we put them on this boot mat and that keeps the floor nice and clean. We have a step stool and a thing to carry packages from downstairs. And here is my dog. If you guys don't know him, his name is Clover. He's very curious. He heard me talking. He's probably like, were you talking to me? Clover, say hi. Say hello. Anyway, we also have this alpha door and wall rack. This is something that comes right off the door. It's not attached to it uh, in terms of hardware. It's just attached via the bottom and top of the door, kind of over the door. And uh, we've had this in 
at least four apartments. <laughs> and it's the best because you can take off the little baskets and the little shoe things and move them around. They're really, really great. So Clover has his own with his like weather stuff and his little ball playing thing and his little treat bag in here. So he gets space in this closet too. Right as you walk in forward, we have this beautiful console from West Elm. I think this is the mid-century console. It's a beautiful piece of furniture that ties the whole entryway together. There's a mirror there as soon as you walk in. Hello, that's me. Basically, in these drawers, we just have masks and hand sanitizer, sunglasses, and um, some hand wipes. I don't know why those are in there, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, I have a bunch of reusable masks that I've been wearing the entire year and a half. So they are wonderful and I love them. <laughs> and down here we have reusable shopping bags in a bin. And then we have Clover's weather stuff. This is like a paw washer and his boots and all that stuff and extra poop bags for you. So right off the entryway is uh, the bedroom, the master bedroom. Clover's waiting for us in the master bedroom. <laughs> um, it's got a really big master closet. That's a walk-in closet and here is the bedroom. Our bed is, I get a lot of questions about our bed. Our bed is from West Elm. This is the Alexa reclaimed wood bed. It's really cool. And um, I we are keeping it and uh, gonna have it in the next house. And next to it, we have two uh, West Elm, what are these, side tables? <laughs> these are the terrace side tables. They're super, super cool. Across from the bed is our armoire. This is the patchwork armoire from West Elm. It, unfortunately, this is discontinued. It's really, really, really heavy uh, so um i hate having it moved but it is really great because i have my concert gowns in there we have linens in there and i have some workout clothes and my husband has some other stuff in there it's more linens in there and then next to that is my vanity where i do my makeup the desk is from target it is uh from a brand called Saf safia i think i'm not really sure but um and for my makeup i have this handy dandy drawer unit thing from the container store. They're modular, so each one of these drawers is individually sold and you can configure it any way you want. And I really, really like it. Here is our master closet. And again, I took out the closet made system that was here and put in our alpha system from the container store. We will be having to take this down when we leave and put the closet made back up, but it's been so nice to have this because uh, we, we, as you can see, we've used up all of the vertical space. And that's what's so great about alpha is you can just, it's, it's, it's such a great space saver because you can go all the way up to the top and all the way down to the bottom. We have some suitcases and stuff in here that we're living out of right now because we're gonna deconstruct this very soon and we just got back from a trip. So uh, it doesn't only look this messy, but um, you know, it'll look a lot messier tomorrow, won't it, Clover? <laughs> Again, we have the alpha door and wall rack in this closet holding a bunch of our shoes. And of course we will take this with us when we leave. And I'll show you exactly how it's attached to the door if you've never seen it. It's got this over the door bracket right here. And I, I got this the same color as the paint color, like the white, because you can buy it in the silver color that the system is in. So you can see this. So the, so the system is silver, but I like to buy the over the door brackets in white so that they don't show as much on the other side. And there's also a bracket on the bottom. Also one on the bottom. Um, solutions from the container store are quite expensive. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I Full disclosure, I was a former container, container store employee. I cannot talk today. Container store employee. And then I uh, worked as a contract employee for them for a while. And uh, I got a discount on a bunch of stuff. So that's why I have a bunch of container store items. Um, but it is quite expensive. And I recommend either buying Alpha on sale or waiting till there's a, there's a friends and family sale. Um, if you know somebody <laughs> and usually the uh, late fall. Here's our master bathroom. This is a pretty standard, I guess this is a nice bathroom actually. Um, it's got those really cool like lighted mirrors, hello. <laughs> and it's got two really big cabinets underneath the sink. And this towel rack is one we added. It's a command hook towel rack. It comes right off the wall um, super easily so that when we move out, we'll just take this with us and we didn't install anything. I don't have to patch any holes. So that's a great renter solution if you can't put anything in the walls or if you don't want to put anything on the walls. So underneath, because we don't have any drawers in here, I added two drawer units from the container store. Again, I will be very frank and say these are very expensive, but they do last a lifetime. 
and they are very, very functional. So I've got, you know, like my toothpaste and stuff in here and floss and all that. I take my dental hygiene very seriously. <laughs> um, just like makeup stuff, skincare and hair stuff, all that stuff in these drawers. And I've even divided the inside so that I can find stuff and keep it separated and all that. So it's been very nice to have these. And when we move, I'll just simply remove them and put them in our new house in an, an under cabinet place. <laughs> we have this weird closet that's behind here that is super shallow and it didn't have anything in it when we moved in, but I put some alpha shelving in here and it fits perfectly. So I feel sad that I'm gonna take this when I leave and there's gonna be nothing in here again, but it was super practical for storing cleaning supplies, my like shark steam and scrub, my mops, my carpet cleaning machine, the, the extra toiletries. And usually on that shelf, there's extra toilet paper, but we're out of toilet paper today. So, well, we're not out because we have toilet paper, but um, we obviously need to buy some more. And I just find that it's really, it's a really good size for all kinds of, you know, the miscellaneous cleaning stuff. Oh, and this is my, one of my favorite command hooks is this broom holding thingamabobber. <laughs> Because it again is just attached with adhesive and you have your stick item right this is a this is a mop and you just stick it in just like that and it holds it up and it's awesome you don't have to install anything into the wall it's fantastic another really great command hook solution is to install one in the shower now this might take a few tries because um, you need you're gonna need the waterproof command strip um, but this hook is, has been here for six months and it has, it's still going strong and it holds my little uh, body poof. And in the shower we have our Simple Human Tension Shower Caddy. And this thing, we've had it for, gosh, as long as we've been, even before we were married. So I think we've had this for eight years and it looks great and it's still really functional. Whenever I show this uh, bath mat in a video, I always get questions about where it's from and it is from anthropology and they still sell it I, I get this like years and years ago but they still sell it it's really really well made and it washes really well I've washed this probably dozens of times and it still looks really good oh my gosh my Roomba has continued its job I think I'll have to send it back home Here's the entryway and you come in there's the kitchen and to the left is a guest bathroom or a second bathroom and it also has the washer and dryer in it which is really nice and on top I have a little basket in the basket I usually put paper towels but we just don't have that many right now and also that's Clover's travel bag <laughs> so um, I also have this little cabinet which has been in three of our apartments Clover has brought a toy okay He doesn't get enough attention, guys. He's clearly attention starved. So I'm using that to hold a lot of our uh, bathroom linens, towels and stuff, and also laundry things. And it just is really, it's been, it's been really handy. This bathroom has, again, the really nice mirror with the sink, uh, van like the, the sink cabinet underneath. Underneath is not that much stuff. It's like some cleaning items and it's actually a Clover's cleaning items. When I usually bathe Clover, I usually bathe him in this bathroom and we even have a little hookup for the faucet down here. My husband took it off because he took a shower in here, but it hooks up to this, um, this faucet here. I'll put it on there. It hooks on just like that. And this is a little sprayer that I can spray Clover down with <laughs> during his bath time. So that's been really handy for us. Oh, and on the back of the door, we have our drying rack hanging from this over the door. It's actually a um, a holder for your iron and ironing board, but we don't really have an ironing board anymore. Now we have the kitchen. The kitchen is really nice. It's a little smaller. Well, it's a lot smaller than the kitchen we came from. We have a lot less storage space, but it is a nice kitchen. We have some storage bins at the top for things we don't use a lot. And it is it has really nice cabinets. And uh, we also made this closet over here into a pantry. 
It was like a regular clothes hanging closet before, but now I, we hung some shelving and it's a pantry and it works really well for us because we love to cook, cook a lot and um, Clover needs his space for his food as well. Clover's in every shot. Are you guys enjoying this? And then we have the living room. The living room's kind of unimpressive. We haven't really done that much with the living room in terms of decoration, but it is really nice. We have our little couch tucked in the corner and uh, we have a really cool coffee table. If you've never seen this coffee table, this is the West Elm Industrial Storage Coffee Table. And what's so cool about it is it has storage on the inside. And then you can also like work from there, or eat your dinner, and that's usually where we eat our dinner. We actually do have a dining table. It's this console over here and it's a gate, it's a gate leg table with chairs inside. And inside you can see there are chairs. There's four chairs inside. So this is from Expand Furniture and it's called the Expand Furniture Co Trojan Console Table. And I was supposed to put our wall bar up there i'll put a picture or some video of what it would look like right here but i never got a chance to hang it so we have some wine glasses and some other sort of bar paraphernalia here but we never really got a chance to set that up but that's okay we also have clover's little little food area here that's super cute on this side we have our television and our console this um credenza is from west elm it's the the mid-century media console um, but it is really cool and it's one of my favorite pieces of furniture that we have it's really beautiful and we have a Samsung frame TV so if you don't if you're not familiar with this it actually looks like a painting when it's not on it's not on right now so maybe I'll turn it on and show you so here's what it looks like when it's on in art mode you can change the art you can change how bright the screen is um, but it's very convincing as art in the daytime um, I downloaded a, a few from Etsy as well. They look really pretty. And as long as well, you can see, I'm also a plant parent. I have lots of plants. <laughs> I love them dearly. My Monstera is doing fantastic. She's got all these new leaves that are perfectly fenestrated, like a picture. Like, look at this one. She's just perfect. And Clover's got all of his toys here. <laughs> and off the living room is my office where I do a lot of my content creation. I do editing and I stream on my gaming channel and make gaming content as well. So I've got a really fun gaming chair, <laughs> which is the Autofall Bunny gaming chair. It's super cute, it's very comfortable, and I really like it. These bins are from Open Spaces, and oh, this one is too full, it won't, the top won't fit on, but I did decorate the front of these with my Cricut, and so I really like the way that they turned out. They're nice and subtle, it's not too obvious because it's white, but I, I can definitely identify, you know, what's in what, like this one is just adapters. <laughs> so anytime I need an adapter, I go in there and grab it, and it's just a really fun, place to work. In the corner of my office, I just have a shelf with my plants. I've got a grow light going because I give them a little supplemental extra sunlight. Um, and then I have two really cool lead shelves over here. These are command hook lead shelves. There's four of them, one, two, three, four. And they will just come off the wall with, an uh, with me pulling down the strips. They're, again, they're adhesive, no drilling into the wall. Really, really great. I um, just have a couple of opera programs that I have in, magazines that I contributed to, and like video game stuff. Just really cool stuff that reminds me that I'm not a total failure. <laughs> this is a couch, actually, it's a sleeper couch from Joybird, but it's a it's like a really bright color. We purchased this from our uh, for our other house, and it's this teal color, which is okay, but like not the kind of color I needed, so I just covered it with this throw that I got from Amazon, which I will link down below. It's super soft and it's the best thing I've done for this room. Next to the couch is a side table that <laughs> I got from Anthropology. This took me so long to get because they sent me this table with missing parts and I had to send it back and get a new one and it took like six months. So I'm very happy to have it now. It's a peacock and it's just a really cool side table and I'm very happy to have it. This on this side is just, a, it's really just a storage closet. It has all of my junk in it and it looks terrible. We were like, saving some materials for packing, actually. Um, there's some packages. Well, we're just saving packages, basically, for packing. Uh, and my suitcase is in here. 
<laughs> Clover stuff is in here. It's kind of a big mess, so it's not really something to be showing you, but this Alpha system is actually freestanding, so there's nothing attached to the wall. It's just a freestanding shelving system, so if you're looking for, you know, shelving that you don't have to attach to the wall, see there's the feet for the Alpha system. This is a really, really good solution. Alpha freestanding is super expensive because it holds itself up, but definitely worth it. I've had this system for like 10 years and it still looks like brand new. Clover, would you like to say anything for the end of the video? No? So that's the apartment tour. We will be moving out of here in about seven days. So probably by the time you see this, uh, I won't be living here anymore. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it though and it gave you some inspiration on how to organize if you're looking to organize in a renter friendly way. And I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.